What is up, YouTube? I got the greatest, most legendary build for you guys today, the Lob Threat. <laughs> now, okay, maybe maybe it's not, you know, the greatest build in 2K, but uh, let's go take a look at it. I'm gonna show you guys how to make it. You know, I, I saw some people have it. I tweaked it around. I tried to make it as good as possible for you guys. So if you guys are wanting the name Lob Threat, here you go. So you're gonna wanna go with the finishing pie chart as you know, you're gonna wanna be dunking and lobbing with this build. And uh, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be a giant with this build, so you are gonna want some speed, but you're not gonna want to be you know extremely weak or anything. And you're gonna want to have a lot of vertical, so you can really jump high and catch the lobs. So I'm gonna go with this. You know, it's kind of the speed vertical pie chart. You see, you know, you get a 79, 74, 72 strength. Everything kind of balanced. So w what you're gonna do with the attributes is. There's a lot of like weird things. You can't go too high on a lot of categories that will give you a completely different name. So if you see me adding some like categories that you're thinking, oh, why would you do that there? Why not add a few more points, yada, yada, yada. That's the only reason why I'm doing that. So let's start with a close shot. You're gonna add that up. Bring that to 66 to start off. And then right after that, go to driving dunk. Driving dunk, you know, of course, that's really gonna be, you know, the bread and butter of this build you're gonna be able to go down you're gonna be able to get contact dunks easily you know you're gonna get great animations standing dunk 80 just having these two pretty high it's gonna give you access to a lot of dunk packages uh not really very many builds get like dwight howard shaquille o'neal all that stuff post hook to 70 you see you're starting out with 13 finishing badges now the shooting, you're gonna add some stuff into shooting. Now you're thinking, is this build really gonna be able to shoot? You know, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be a knockdown shooter at all, really. But having, you know, just some of these on here, you're gonna be able to hit a shot occasionally, especially if you're playing with dimer. You see the ball handle, we're gonna move that to 64, you know, get as most speed as we can. And then the post moves go to 90. That's gonna give you the playmaking 12 badges that you need. So, I mean, really, you know, if, if you get a mismatch between a smaller dude, you know, post moves for 90. I don't know if you guys know what that does, but it does stuff like uh, drop steps and uh, post spins and all that. So, you will be able to get some animations on a lot smaller dudes. With the defense, you know, interior defense 67, perimeter 56, lateral 60, steel max that out to 65, block max that out to 75. Get that rebound to 75, and then get the defensive rebound to 76. You see that's uh, 10 defensive and rebounding badges. Not too, too elite at defense, but it's going to give you the ability to be able to, you know, do some things, you know, to be able to have a fighter's chance. And all the badges, it's really going to make you uh, more of a defensive menace than you actually think. You see I put the post fade to 72. Ah, uh, you know, it's decent. You'll be able to hit some post phase, but it's definitely, <laughs> you definitely don't want to be living and uh, dying there. And then with the last bit that we have left, you can go to 50 pass accuracy. That gives you, a, you know, another playmaking badge. It's always useful. You know, it, it's always a good idea to kind of check in the last uh, bit of attributes, see if you can get more badges somewhere. And I just put this on 65 because I'm not going to get attributes anywhere else. So, you know, attributes. <laughs> the name is definitely the draw of this build. We're going to go 6-8 with it. The weight... It's kind of it kind of tricky. You don't want to go too heavy. You don't want to go too light. So just kind of leave it where it's at. And then the wingspan, you see at an 84.8. This is how everything is right now. There's not a whole lot of reason to lower it because you're not going to really be shooting anyway. Uh, you could uh, extend it, but just keep it right here the same. And then now you get all these takeovers. It's kind of a you know a lot of different choices for takeover. I would say definitely go slasher though because you just want to you just want to go crazy with the dunks with this build to be honest. And then there it is, the famous lob threat. Now, let's talk about badges. So you can play big man with this because it's not as important to, you know, be insanely 7-3, you know, max rebound and all that. You can survive definitely with big man. And I think this build, you'll be able to take most advantage if you're playing with a stretch and you're playing like the two. Uh, let's go badges, <laughs> lob city finisher, hall of fame. That is a must with this badge. You're going to be one to catch lobs, you know, you got to do it. And then contact finisher, you know, get contact dunks, get great dunk animations. Fancy footwork you can have, and I was trying some different things out, but I would definitely recommend, you know, take off Pro Touch, put on Slithery Finisher. Uh, that way, you know, when you're going to the paint, you can do that, you know, a little cheesy hop. Uh, the one shooting badge, like I said, you're not going to really be able to do too much with shooting, but you can put Quick Draw on. If you know your jumper, you'll be able to hit some middies, you know, some close-ups if they got Diver. Just, just don't go crazy with shooting. And then now with the playmaking badges, you get quite a bit. Quick first step, you want to have that max, so whenever you get it, you can, you know, do a little hezzy, a little pump, and then go down. A needle threader and pluckable bailout, of course. I say it every build video. Downhill, especially, you know, if someone gets the rebound and launches it to you, you're going to be out of there. That's a really good badge for pro-am. 
Lob City Passer might come in handy because, you know, if someone hits you and they cut, you can hit them for the, you know, you're not just a lob, you know, a lob threat, you're going to be a lob passing threat and finishing threat. And then now with the 10 finishing badges, it kind of depends on what you're playing. Uh, if you're playing the big, you could change it up a little bit, but you can put some Rebound Chaser on, you know, Rim Protector on, Chase Down Artist, Intimidator is always nice. You can put Interceptor, uh, you know, you can't really go wrong with any of these badges. And then after you get it like that, here it is, you know, 13, 13, 10, and 1. You know, it's, it's a, lot of, a lot of people kind of think this is a joke build, but you can actually do some damage with it. If it's your playstyle, I definitely recommend. Let me know if you guys have seen anybody with this build. This is Tonic. I'll catch you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.